spite of a recent facelift of the Pasa police station, crime suspects in the Nkwanta North District capital are still held in cells without toilets. The inmates defecate in buckets that are lifted by night soil carriers. This is one of the two police stations that serve the entire Nkwanta North District in the Volta region. The other, we were told, is a police post at Damanko. The two stations together have all nine personnel in the last quarter of 2015, five in Pasa and four in Damango. They have responsibility over 200 scattered settlements. Policing is also augmented by a regional SWAT team for day and night patrols. The Divisional Police Headquarters is located at Ketekrachi with a district command in Nkwanta. The Pasa Police Station is sandwiched among other structures with limited office space. The five personnel in October last year moved to renovate the station to create more space. It was done with the support of individuals and grants from the police administration. However, the cells remain the same with inmates defecating in buckets. So, in effect, uh, there has been a change from the past and uh, we are entreating the public around to assist the police in, in kind so that they can equally live the, in the, at the place uh, in a meaningful way at the place and then make the place a uh, nice place to be. The district commander, Superintendent Joseph Aka, also lamented over the personnel strength. For now, I can also add that uh, the number of personnel around the place is woefully inadequate. Currently, Pasa Station is having six personnel. A station of this sort with, uh, in which the area is most often volatile, uh, additional personnel are always needed so that when problems uh, occur, they can easily be nipped into the bud. So I will use this opportunity to ask that additional men posted to their place to increase their strength so that police work uh, will uh, move on very well. He appealed to the police administration to expedite the process of establishing a permanent police station in the district.